it's just been tough. It's been a tough day. Tonight, people in Helena are mourning the loss of high school senior Kalia Smith. She was killed in a car crash last night after her vehicle left the road striking several trees. Hoover police tell us it happened near the intersection of County Road 52 and County Road 13. ABC 3340's Bobby Bordevin spoke to the people who knew and loved Smith. And Bobby, this can't be easy for them right now. Muriel, Anna Kate Joseph was a friend and she tells me she's heartbroken tonight along with so many others in our area, especially in the Helena community. Now she tells me her friend had big dreams after high school, but an even bigger smile. This is how Anna Kate Joseph spent her day. I cried so much today because I thought of every good memory I ever had with her. Her eyes filled with tears while looking at Smith's smiling face in photos, flashbacking to fond memories together. I remember seeing her smile all the time. I could never see her without a smile on her face. Joseph says all of Helena High School is mourning the senior who was excited for graduation in college. Very, very quiet. Nobody was out of their classrooms. Half the people left. Joseph says those who stayed were saved. Some people at Helena High School found Christ in the wake of this tragedy. And during lunch, we had a revival in the auditorium with praise and worship. And the auditorium was full. I believe 40 people were saved. Joseph and her choir class even took time to remember their dear friend in their own way. We sang for her. We went out to the middle of the hallway. We drug a piano out in the middle of the hallway. And we sang a song about how lucky we are to be together. Smith's death is also weighing heavy on Joseph's mom's heart. She's just gone in a blink of an eye. You know, it just makes you want to hold your kids a little bit tighter. Now, classmates will gather tomorrow morning at 7 at Helena's High School football stadium for prayer. I also reached out to Helena Police to learn more about what caused the crash. Brenda. Bobby Portavent reporting.